Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the puzzle this time involves a triangle. So I'm live mixing this one by the way. I've got like a physical mixing desk here and it's got like a slider on it so so cool. Anyway, so uh, about there's good. So this triangle has three points, no surprises so far. Around the triangle we could put some numbers and you can put any numbers you want on each of the points. I'm going to put in a 5 followed by a 7 and then a 12. There's no meaning there. I genuinely just picked some random numbers and put them on the points of this triangle. We're now going to turn it into a takeaway triangle. So what you do is draw another similar triangle but upside down around the first triangle and when we number this one we put the numbers on it which are the difference between the two numbers on either side. So you can see there you've got a, uh, well there's a 5 and a 12. So you think what number is between, well the difference between 5 and 12, that's 7. So we put a 7 on that point. We'll then carry on around, difference between 12 and 7, that's going to be 5. Hmm, so far, so familiar. And the last point, difference between 5 and 7 is 2. So now we've gone from one set of numbers, 5, 7, 12, to a new set of numbers, 7, 5, 2. We could then repeat that. Okay, the next one doesn't fit, but you get the idea. In theory, you could keep going on and on and on and on. And the question now is, what happens for any given starting set of three numbers? I mean, do you end up in a loop? Do you cycle? Do you hit a fixed value? What goes on? And that's kind of the open part of this puzzle is just what up with that? The submissible part, if you want to get on the leaderboard, is what set of three numbers can you choose which do not add to 14 will eventually get in a cycle where every new set on that takeaway triangle always has a sum of 14. So if you head over to the Think Maths website, you can submit your solution to that puzzle. You've got up until the next Tuesday we're coming across, at midnight on Tuesday we stop. Last puzzle, we had far fewer people entering the normal. So this time we think it's a bit more straightforward. If you want to get some values and you want to enter, so please do give it a go. But do have a play. And if you find some more interesting maths, as always, send it in to mattpluspuzzles at standupmaths.com. Friday next week, I will show my favorite bits of working out and various answers that people have sent in. Have fun!